Hey, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha, and in this video, you learn about zeroth law of thermodynamics. Now let's move to the content. Before we move into the topic, it's important to understand thermal equilibrium. You can watch my previous video on thermal equilibrium. You can find the link in the description below. According to zeroth law, if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with a third body, then the first two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Or in simple words, if two bodies A and B are in thermal equilibrium with C, then A and B are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Now let's understand it more better. Suppose there are three bodies A, B and C at temperature T1, T2 and T3 respectively. And if A is in thermal equilibrium with C, that can be written as T1 is equal to T3 because during thermal equilibrium, the temperature of the bodies are same. And also if B is in thermal equilibrium with C, that can be written as T2 is equal to T3. Then according to zeroth law, A must be in thermal equilibrium with B. That can be written as T1 is equal to T2. Now if we combine all, we get T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T3. It means that all the bodies A, B and C are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Zeroth law is the foundation of temperature. We use thermometer to measure the temperature. To measure the temperature, we keep thermometer in contact with the body. Then we wait until the liquid inside thermometer comes in thermal equilibrium with the body. So temperature is just an indicator that so objects are in thermal equilibrium. Now let's see some applications of zeroth law of thermodynamics. Suppose the temperature of surrounding is 25 degrees Celsius. And if we keep two glasses of water at different temperature, for example 50 degrees Celsius and 80 degrees Celsius on a table for some time. Then eventually both the glasses comes in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding. And finally we see that the temperature of both the glasses and surrounding is same. Now let's see a next application of zeroth law. In this animation you see that there is a thermometer and three beakers of liquid at different temperature. Please note down that the thermometer we are using is a non-graduated thermometer. So there is no measuring scale in the thermometer. We can also use a capillary tube instead of a thermometer. Now the condition is, we are already provided the temperature T1 and T2 of second and third beaker respectively. And the problem is, we don't know the temperature T of the first beaker. But using zeroth law, we can calculate the temperature T. Now let's see the process of doing it. First, we will dip the thermometer in the first beaker and wait for the thermometric liquid to come in thermal equilibrium. Let the expansion of thermometric liquid be X. So, T must be proportional to X. Let's write it as T is proportional to X. Let it be equation 1. Now we will dip the thermometer in second beaker and wait for the thermometric liquid to expand until it comes in thermal equilibrium. Let the total expansion be X1. So, T1 must be proportional to X1. 
let's write it down as t1 is proportional to x1. Let it be equation 2. Lastly, we will dip the thermometer in third beaker and wait for the thermometric liquid to expand. Let the total expansion be x2. So, T2 must be proportional to x2. Let's write it down as T2 is proportional to x2. Let it be equation 3. When we divide equation 2 by 1, we get T1 by T is equal to x1 by x. Let it be equation 4. Similarly, when we divide equation 3 by 1, we get T2 by T is equal to x2 by x. Let it be equation 5. Now, we will subtract equation 4 from 5 to get T2 by T minus T1 by T is equal to x2 by x minus x1 by x. This can be written as T2 minus T1 by T is equal to x2 minus x1 by x. From here we get T is equal to T2 minus T1 by x2 minus x1 times x. This is the final expression used to calculate T. Since we are already provided all the quantities in right hand side, we can easily calculate T which is the temperature of first beaker. Thanks for watching. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.